Hello, it's Dr. Debbie with Veterinary Home Healthcare. And I just wanted to let you guys kind of in on the story of how I got into holistic medicine. I wasn't always a integrated vet, which means combining holistic with pharmaceutical options. Um, for the first many years, I was just a regular vet, I guess I'd call it, because they don't teach you holistic options in vet school. So that's not something we learn, that's something you seek out. Um, they just <clears throat> only really have four years to teach us about all the species and to teach us about um, all the diseases, surgery, radiology, pharmacology. It's a lot of stuff crammed into four years. So a lot of the specialties, if you're interested in exotics or holistic or things like that, you have to seek that out. And um, I didn't really have any reason to. I had plenty of stuff I had to do. So I started out working out as an associate um, for several years. And then I did, a, I think, seven years. And then I was a relief vet for three years after that. Um, so I went all over the different areas and um, worked with different vets and different clinics and kind of looked at the way they did things. And I'd never really met a holistic vet before. So that was one of the things um, that was completely new to me. So I would say everything happened in February 22nd, 2002. I can remember that date because that's the date I had my second daughter, Chesney. And she was born with 22Q deletion syndrome. Um, the second day, well, the first day after I had her, um, uh, they came in and said she had a heart murmur. And they said, I think we need to get that checked out. I had had a C-section and she, they said, I said, okay, uh, when do you want to do that? And they said, well, the ambulance is here. And I saw them putting her in one of those incubators and we had been together that first night. Um, but then they were taking her to another hospital. I live in a smaller town and they're not really equipped for things like that. So we went to the next town and about midnight that night, they said, um, she's got a lot of congenital heart defects. We're gonna send you on to Le Bonheur in Memphis. So um, we continued on our journey following the ambulance and my little baby to Le Bonheur. And it was the next day she had surgery for an aortic coarctation which meant her aorta was pinched closed. Um, they went in through her back and cut her aorta and sewed it back together. And then it was a couple months later that we had open heart surgery um, for a lot of the defects that she had, but she had to live in congestive heart failure. Um, she also had to live the first four months without knowing if she had an immune system because a lot of the babies that have this, they don't have a thymus gland and that's a little gland um, right here over your heart and they didn't know if she had that so we didn't know if she had an immune system so things that were formerly not important to me or on my radar became very important to me um, vaccines um, things like uh, well everything became important to me you know my life pretty much stopped and it started um, with a fresh start in the best way possible, but it didn't seem like that at the time. And so with, um, with that, as she grew, we found out she was allergic to about every pharmaceutical. So she couldn't take antibiotics. There's a lot of things she couldn't take and we had to find out a new way to treat her. Um, so we did. The first modality I ran into was essential oils and I was able to treat her with essential oils um, strep throat, lock jaw, a lot of different things that she had that I was able to treat her with. And every time I did it, I thought it was a fluke that it worked, but it was over and over again that it worked and worked and worked. Then I started using them on myself. And then I started using them um, on my family and they worked. And then we began to start with different, um, thinking about, I guess, when I got back into work, I started thinking about my patients and the one-year-old Labrador who has hip dysplasia, that if he takes um, a non-steroid anti-inflammatory, then he's gonna be suffering um, from side effects 
after years. So I started thinking about essential oils for him. I got certified in animal aromatherapy in 2015, studied it a lot. I used another veterinarian's essential oils in the meantime, and they worked really well. And same deal, I was like, that's a fluke, that's a fluke. And then after so many dogs get better from it, you're like, okay, I'm a believer. And then when I began to study it, it's like studying organic chemistry. It's the same thing. The essential oils in the plant are, um, they're, it's science, you know, God made science, God made plants. He put this on earth for us to treat ourselves. So it began to be something that I really loved and I learned how to use them therapeutically. There's a difference between aroma and therapeutic uh, essential oils. Um, so that's how I first got interested in, in holistic medicine. Then I went to the Holistic Veterinary um, Conference and I got interested in different modalities like chiropractic, um, herbs and things like that and I'm still learning. It's a big learning curve. There's a lot of things out there. In fact, I'm headed to chiropractic school in July of 2020, and I should be graduated by December. So I'm pretty excited about that, bringing that to my patients. And what I would like to, for you all to know is that, um, that my interest in holistic medicine is one that I can bring to your patients and that um, your pets. They're my patients. They're your pets. But I love my patients. So I'm excited to offer this, especially with older pets. I love for them to age in a way that's, um, that they thrive. So we get them on a course of thriving before they even get to their older years. And if you have an interest for your pet to be, um, holistically treated and you are my patient just let me know I don't push it on you but if you have an interest I would love well, if that's my passion I would love to help you with that so I wanted you to know how I got my start into holistic medicine and there's a lot more to that story as you can imagine but that's the highlights and I just wanted you to know um, at least that part of it so you kind of get why most vets don't practice holistic vet med because we don't learn it in vet school. Unless your life circumstances bring you down that road, you probably won't find it. So I just wanted you guys to hear that story and thank you for listening.